What's up guys, Peter Mom Panda here. Hey, I'm standing next to a lamp that I picked up from Rough Country Rustic Furniture. This is a lamp, it's actually a tactical lamp. It has a little secret, it's used for hiding stuff. I wanted to show it to you, and before I get into it, I wanna tell you that this is gonna be an honest review, man. Um, I paid my own money for this thing, it, it just came. I took a look through it, and my honest take on it so far is that there are some things that I am pretty disappointed about. Um, and hopefully as I go through the lamp here, I'm gonna show you the things that um, are really kind of nice features, but then also the things that are pretty pretty big letdowns for me. And the reason I'm going over it is not too much to bag on the product because overall it's not a bad product and you gotta commend the guys that are doing this with Rough Country. Uh, but I think that the key to being really satisfied with your purchase from Rough Country Rustic Furniture is that you have to know what you're getting and what you're not getting. And so I'm going to go into that. The, the first thing I just want to show you here is that it comes with everything you see. And the packaging was very good. It actually comes with the lamp shade. It comes with this, this lamp base. It even comes with the the stand here for the top does not come with a bulb obviously but in this case i have the one that has this painted graphic on the front that establishes says established 1776 cool patriotic i got it in this a little bit lighter it looks like weathered reclaimed wood but it's nicely done and you know i think it looks great and really actually looks like rustic vintage furniture so if your home is kind of in that decor, I think this is going to fit in nicely. The lampshade itself is, is pretty nice too. It's, it's big and uh, square and um, kind of pyramidal like this. So it's really cool looking and uh, just kind of a, like a, a tan khaki eggshell color top. So overall, I mean, I think it looks pretty good and it comes with this little top here so you can tighten that down so that you can line up all the straight edges and it doesn't stand super tall. Overall height here is right under 23 inches, just like 20, 22 and three quarters inches. So it's gonna be about that wide. And then the lampshade itself is 16 inches in all directions. Now, I also wanna show you the box here. And I think this is where the rubber meets the road for me. The lamp base is 11 and a half inches tall it's eight inches deep and nine and a half inches wide. So pretty standard looking lamp. And even though it's a tactical lamp and that hides a secret compartment, it doesn't really scream that it, it's a tactical lamp. Cord off the back here and uh, the hardware here is kind of brass color. Now, I, obviously the, the, the really unique thing about this is that it's a hidden compartment and that's why you're watching this and I want to show it to you. So the first thing you'll notice is that the front and the back are symmetrical and this front piece comes off. Now this is where I was kind of disappointed because if you're hiding let's say a firearm or something like that the reason I got this was because Tactical Walls also makes a tactical lamp with a hidden compartment. But theirs is just a front panel that's held on by two magnets, a magnet on either side. And so what I didn't really like about that is, it, yes, it gives you quick access, but it doesn't allow, it doesn't prevent someone from just accidentally discovering your secret compartment. A quick hit of it, uh, even though you probably need to be intentional about it, there's no real security. What I really liked about watching the videos on Rough Country Rust Furniture is that the videos demonstrated them showing a hinged front door with a magnet, a child safe magnet release on this side. And so they put the magnet up and they flipped it open and there was a secret compartment. What, it, what wasn't clear on the website is that this tactical lamp or hidden compartment lamp does not have that. In fact, the front is just held on by a magnet. And as you can see there, it just pulls off. Now, what's interesting is the board itself is, you've got some of these angle pieces that hide the edge. So you, you, when you put it on, there's nothing that really screams that this piece is removable, which is nice. And the construction is nice and tight and the tolerances are nice and tight. And even on the front of the board here, as you can see, even if you tilt it a little bit, it, it's, it's so tight that it, does, it doesn't come out. 
but you know the construction just in general is 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 really nice the staining is nice the edges aren't super sanded but you know it's supposed to look a little rough and then the painting on the front actually is even kind of cool and it's actually even kind of better that it's like a stencil and it's a little sloppy. I mean, that kind of adds to the effect. Now you can see here, there's a metal plate right there. And then you have one fairly large, I believe it's a rare earth magnet. Not a lot different than the magnets that you would use on cupboard doors. Now on the bottom though, no magnet, right? So it's only hinged at the top. This, this causes a couple problems for me. One, like I said, you can accidentally discover it by hitting it, you know, and if you're, like I said, if you're hiding a firearm, that may be a concern to you. But secondly, and I'm gonna kind of turn the lamp here and show you, is that because there's no second magnet like there are on the tactical walls, this bottom kind of just flops around. And it's not bad in that if I shake the lamp, it's gonna flop open, but there's really nothing holding it on. And what I probably prefer is a magnet at the top and the bottom or a magnet on two sides like the tactical walls just to give it, you know, both ends instead of having the bottom flop out. And I didn't mean it for it to fall off. I was just trying to show that the, the, the door will even pivot open. Now, once you get to the inside though, uh, you know, they do a pretty nice job. There is a there is a nice high density foam that's stuck in the inside here. There's a wall kind of halfway into the box to hide the cords and keep all of that in the back of the, the cabinet. In terms of how deep this recess is, it is two and three quarters inches deep. And as you can see here, the block of foam is about two and a quarter inches deep. You can see that, two and a quarter inches deep. So you could take this and cut it to fit, say your firearm or whatever you're trying to hide, most likely your weed, um, in my case, porn, and then cut that open and put it in there. Now, the, the, the other question I'm sure you're asking is, all right, so I get this and I, and let's say I use it for a firearm, how big a firearm can I put in there? Well, I brought down my H&K VP9, fantastic gun. I also have a laser and a light on there too, so um, accessories on there. It is empty and unloaded. I don't think I owe it to you to prove that, but I wanted to put the whole thing together to show you that if I put this up here, the whole thing would fit, right? So. I could cut this out and put this whole thing, even with my uh, accessory on there, and have a nice, compact, hidden, you know, weapon. Now, what I'm really using this for is hiding these little bad boys, because you know what? These things seem to disappear on me like none other. I mean, they're delicious. They're chocolate, and they're mint. So the nice thing is I can mount it in there. Uh, there's enough space so that I can mount a, a couple of them horizontally. If I take out the, um, the, the foam altogether, I could you know, stack them up and you know, this is fantastic. So like I said, whatever you're trying to hide, this definitely could, uh, this could, this could work for you. Now, like I said, the, the issue I think is the expectation. My expectation was that there was going to be a little bit more um, apparatus to secure this door. And I was really hoping that there might be just a little extra step so that I wouldn't have to worry about a, a guest or someone finding my little secret compartment, you know, by just tapping the thing like this. That being said, if now that you're aware of what this tactical lamp and the secret compartment looks like and how it operates, I think you can order this knowing exactly what you're going to get. There's nothing about it that seems like it was one-off. I mean, I'm really actually pretty impressed with the, the lamp overall. And I know that they do a lot of bigger hardware too. Beds, couches, dining sets. I mean, these, 
these the folks at Rough Country are, are, are certainly no stranger to building furniture. So God bless them. And I love what they're doing. And it is a small business. So I, I really hope you support them. Now you can see that there are a little tiny gaps at the top and bottom. And I showed you it's it's you know more at the top because the 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 front door slides down. But nothing that screams to me like the lamp would come apart and is hot and a secret inside. So overall, I'm really pleased with the fit and finish. You can get a couple different graphics on there. To be really honest, I, I, I probably wouldn't even get a graphic on there. Um, that would even make it look like a little bit more, you know, innocuous. And so um, I think you can order from them uh, with comfort, knowing that this is what you're going to get if you order this lamp. Now, the last thing I want to say is that to set an expectation, you have to understand that these guys working hard, making this stuff, are, are making them on demand. And I'm sure they have a little bit of a backlog and you need to be patient. I was pretty patient with this. I did email them a few times to see where my lamp stood because I just wanted to get my hands on it. Um, but for about 100 bucks, I can tell you that it took me about 17 weeks to receive it. From the day that I ordered it to the day it arrived, it was 17 weeks. So um, it was four months and not four months, like I'm looking at three months and two days. I mean, this was a solid four months and a week. And so that's just kind of the nature of ordering things that aren't mass produced, that are crafted by hand uh, here in the United States, in America. And, you know, the, the price you pay is that order it and be really, really patient. I think you get a lot for it. And I hope I wasn't being a pain when I was inquiring and having them rush this out. But it certainly does not look like a rush job to me. Looks like a quality piece. I'm pretty happy with it. But go on the website. I know there aren't a lot of descriptions. Hopefully this video helps you out to make a good decision on your next buy from Rough Country Rusted Furniture. Peter Von Panda.